environmental and ecological outcomes. Another significant challenge of our time and our place is the acceptance of a post-industrial economy where knowledge is capital. This is, a par this is the paradox of our time and place. The foundation of our economic prosperity is the upstream oil and gas sector. In industrial terms, this primary industry is a long ways, away, a long ways from the concept of a knowledge-based economy. The challenge that we face is how to take advantage of the economic opportunities of our geography and at the same time propel ourselves into the new and diverse knowledge-based economy. This balance will likely be key to our future prosperity in Alberta. Our place and our time has dictated that future prosperity will hinge on the direction that we take in regards to technology and climate change. These are the issues that define us. Given the importance of re energy resource extraction to the Alberta economy, it is essential that we lead rather than follow. We must set the dialogue and tone of discussions, and we must start by getting over the climate change debate and onto the real issues of energy economics and consumption. The issue of climate change is not an environmental challenge. It is a shift in economic thinking, a shift to a knowledge-based economy where technology and efficiency are the currency to prosperity and sustainability. Opponents of this perspective dismiss it by promoting a wealth redistribution scheme wrapped up in a nice green environmental package. However, there are two convincing premises as to why we should align our thinking and our environmental policies and practices with this concept of economic sustainability. First of all, the science of global warming is complicated and at best confusing to the average person. With crude oil prices at record highs and the cost of goods and services increasing in response, the real issue for the average person is the cost of energy. The issue is really about our over-reliance on traditional energy and it's, a, and it's emergent as the single most important economic driver. With easy access to capital and labor through increased trade liberation, the focus on energy access has gained greater focus in the global marketplace. As a result, energy has become the single most important input cost for businesses. Combine this with the fact that oil and gas are a finite resource, and all of a sudden the economics around the acquisition of energy are changing. The use of hedging and speculation have become more prevalent, skewing the supply and demand equilibrium. We need to address this real issue through both supply and demand measures. We need to invest in technologies that will develop and bring to market alternative and renewable energy sources, as well as create better energy efficiency in business processes and, day and individual day-to-day -day living. Such initiatives would bring down the price of energy through the introduction of economical alternatives to traditional energy sources and through decreasing energy demand by increasing energy efficiency. While the environment and the potential of global warming is an important issue for most individuals, including those under the age of 40. However, studies have shown that the importance of the environment decreases significantly as economic consequences to individuals increase. For the average person, economic sustainability is a priority, while environmental achievements is the proverbial cherry on top. The second premise is that while it would be prudent to address the real issues around energy prices, consumption, and demand, the green aspect must not be ignored. The fact is that the green phenomenon has less to do with the environment than it does about marketing and perception. We must recognize this and adopt an economic policy framework that allows us to benefit from this phenomenon rather than be penalized for it. Again, the answer lies in technology. It is common sense economics. Be leaders by investing in technology that mitigates environmental uh, impacts and then bring it to market. The return on investment will be twofold. The, a zero or a return on the investment itself through the commercialization of technology, as well as the opportunity to market products as green or low emission products through the use of the, uh, through the use of technology. 